Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model. Today I'll be doing a review on the Gemini Jets Avianca Airbus A321 Neo new engine option in their new current livery scheme in a 1-200 scale model. I pre-ordered and purchased this model from Choice Toys whose store is based out of Overland Park, Kansas and its website address is www.choicetoysinc.com. But first, allow me to share you some information about the history of Avianca, okay, and how they still flying after almost 100 years, before I go into detail about this particular model, if you would please. Our Aereo, our Aereo VS Del Continente Americano, which is, by the way, the acronym for Avianca, which is a Colombian-based airline that was founded on December 5, 1919 in Barranquilla, Colombia when it was initially registered under the name SCADTA which is the acronym for Sociedad Colombo Alamana de Transportes I Aerios and commenced operations shortly thereafter with its first flight between Barranquilla and the nearby town of Puerto Colombia using a Junkers F-13 monoplane and operated under that airline's name until June 14, 1940 when SCA DTA Sociedad Colombo Alamana de Transportes Air Aereos merged with the regional Colombian airline, which was called SACO, which is the acronym for Servicio Aereo Colombiano. And as a result of the merger, the airline was formed under a new name, which has become known to the world today as Avianca. Avianca is currently the oldest operating airline in the Western Hemisphere, as well as the world's second oldest operating airline based on foundational date after KLM Royal Dutch Airlines respectively, and still continues to operate under the same name today as it was when the airline was first formed on December 5, 1919, when the airline was first registered under the name SCADTA, which is Sociedad Colombo Alamana de Transportes I Aerios. Avianca is the national flag carrier airline for the country of Colombia as well as Colombia's largest airline and Latin America's second largest airline after the LATAM Airlines Group whose airline operation is based in Santiago, Chile whereas the headquarters of Avianca is located in the Ciudad Salitre municipality section of Bogota, Colombia whereas the airline's main hub and base of operations is located on the grounds of El Dorado International Airport which is located approximately 6.8 miles west of the city center of Bogota, Colombia. And the other primary hubs of Avianca are located at El Salvador International Airport, located in St. Luis, Taupa, La Paz, San Salvador, El Salvador, and Jorge Chavez International Airport, located in Lima, Peru. And the airline's secondary hubs are located at Juan Santa Maria International Airport located in San Jose, Costa Rica and Mariscal Sucre International Airport located in Quito, Ecuador. And the focus cities of Avianca are located at La Aurora International Airport located, located in Guatemala City, Guatemala. Ramon Velade Morales International Airport located in San Pedro, Sula, Honduras. Jose Maria Cordova International Airport located in Rio Negro, Colombia. Alfonso Bonilla, Oregon International Airport, located in Santiago de Cali, Palmyra, Colombia, Colombia, sorry about that, and Miami International Airport, located in Miami, Florida. As of September 2018, or at the time of this video review posted, Avianca flies to 114 destinations in 27 countries in Latin and South America, North America, and Europe with the operating fleet of 173 aircraft, which includes 7 Airbus A321s, in which 5 of those are the Airbus A321-200s, and the remaining 2 are the Airbus A321neos, new engine options. And in addition to the 173 aircraft that currently operates in Avianca's fleet, the airline also has unfulfilled orders for an additional 142 more aircraft that includes three Airbus A321-200s and 15 Airbus A321neos, new engine options, and those aircraft, as we speak, are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. Also as of September 2018, or at the time of this video review posting, Avianca currently operates as a certified three-star airline carrier, according to the international airline review firm Skytrax Magazine, and the Airbus destination code for Avianca on this particular aircraft is 53N. Alright everyone, let's take a look at the front of the box you see here. We're going to start at the top 
part on the left side where you see the gold engraved Gemini 200 decal, the Avianca title, the airline's logo, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the aircraft type, the 1 200 scale diecast aircraft model, as well as the item number information at the lower part of the box. Now you're looking at the back of the box where you see more Gemini Jets information as well as their Facebook Gemini Jets social media page information there as well. Now you're looking at the top of the box where you see the gold and gray Gemini 200 decal as well as the warning information on top of the box. Now you're looking at the bottom of the box which is a flap. You see a little silver button there. You also see the engraved gold Gemini 200 decal as well as their website page information there. You can go to their website page www.geminijets.com to see displayed there. Now you're looking at the left side of the box where you see the gold engraved Gemini 200 decal, the 1200 scale diecast model information as well as the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the aircraft type and the item number on the left side of the box. Now you're looking at the right side of the box, the same information on the left side of the box I showed you earlier on. Okay. Now you're looking at the front of the box as I got laying down on the table you see here and the reason is it's the flap as I mentioned earlier. I'm going to flip that up right there, flip that up right like that. And that what you see is the foam that's coming up the model. And you see the tripod stand right there. Like I said, I'm not going to do no more reviews with those tripods stand. I'm pretty much done with them. I got an alternative stand for that. And then that's the foam right there, protect the models I mentioned earlier. So no further ado, I'm going to take that uh, foam off and let you see the model inside of the packaging box. Check it out. There it is, everyone. That's the model inside of the packaging box, okay? I'm going to go ahead and take that model out, and we can get on with it, all right? I've got to add one more thing. This is the alternative model stand I'm going to do the model review on, and it's pretty strong and sturdy, okay, to say the least. So, And you see that black pad in there? The purpose of that black pad is to prevent your model from being damaged or scratched when you put your model on this particular model stand. Alright, with all that information out of the way about the history of Avianca, how they still operating strongly after almost 100 years in the aviation game, all the details here in this box, as well as the back of the box, including the packaging, plus the alternative uh, model stand I'm going to do the model review on. With no further ado, everyone, here is the model out of the packaging box. Check it out. There it is everyone, the Gemini Jets Avianca Airbus A321neo, the new engine option in their newest current livery scheme in the 1200 scale model. Alright, allow me to go into details about this livery you see on this aircraft. It's kind of similar of American Airlines, but the uh, only difference is the logo. I'm going to give you that information in a moment. Alright, here it is. This is the current livery scheme for Avianca Airlines, which was actually completed sometime in September 2012, but however wasn't unveiled to the general public for the very first time until May 28, 2013 at a special livery unveiling ceremony that was held at the airline's headquarters in Bogota, Colombia, as the Colombian-based airline unveiled their brand new image as well as their brand new corporate identity, which resulted in a brand new livery scheme makeover, which preserves the font color and condor native to the airline's earlier years. The Andean condor is a national symbol of Argentina, Bolivia, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru and plays an important role in the folklore and mythology of the Andean regions. The new livery scheme actually represents a symbol of the strengthening alliance along among the eight Latin American airline carriers that initially shaped the holding company at Aviaca Tic Taca. Avianca Tacker, sorry about that. The airline's livery scheme, including the Condor logo, was created and designed by the international consultancy firm of Lippincott, whose global headquarters is located in New York City, who also collaborated with another advertising agency firm that goes by the name of Batten, Barton, Dernstein, and Osborne, or BBDO, whose global headquarters is also located in New York City as well. So, with all that information out of the way about this livery on this aircraft, Let's get down to business and let me show you all the details on this aircraft mount, shall we? Let's check it out. Okay, we're going to start at the front slash port side of the aircraft. We see the nose gears right here, the nose gear struts, the nose gear landing door featuring the um, partial registration ship number on this, 759. You see the Peter tubes and the static ports right there, the nose cone, the 
cockpit windows as well as the windshield wipers but then you see that uh, Airbus A321 Neo decal right there you see it okay Avianca actually became the first Latin American based operator and the second operator in the world at the Virgin America now operating as Alaska Airlines to acquire this prestigious state-of-the-art aircraft as Avianca took delivery of its first of 17 Airbus A321neo new engine option aircraft that the airline had placed orders for back on January 26, 2012 at a delivery ceremony that was held at the Airbus Delivery Center facility in Hamburg, Germany on September 20, 2017 with the carrier first Airbus A321neo new engine option aircraft bared the registration ship number N759AV which is this one you see played here and at the time of this video review posting only two aircraft of this type are currently operating in service while the remaining 15 are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery all right back to the front of the aircraft and next to that A321neo decal is the Colombian flag de uh, decal which is this right here and this flag represents the country where Avianca currently operates from as the national flag carrier airline for the country of Colombia. As this flag decal can also be seen on the top of the tail fin of the aircraft. I'm about to show you that right now. There it is. There's the Colombian flag decal right there on the top of the tail fin of the aircraft. All right. Now, the decal you see between the uh, cockpit windows and the L1 door, which is this little decal right there. That is the Star Alliance decal, and Avianca is a member of the Star Alliance as Avianca joined the Star Alliance on June 21st, 2012, which consists of 27 airline members from five inhabited continents. And this alliance includes Air Canada, Lufthansa, SAS Scandinavian Airlines System, Thai Airways International, and United as the five founding members. Okay, now you, let's talk about the, uh, the Avianca Airlines logo, the Avianca Avianca logo you see displayed here it kind of symbols uh, kind of symbols some like American Airlines uh, pretty much you also see the Avianca title right there but the only difference is the type of bird but I'm gonna give you that right here right now this is the current logo for Avianca which was modified in 2013 It's an abstraction which resembles that of the South American bird the Andean condor soaring in flight as this typical bird is also considered the national symbol of the countries of Argentina, Bolivia, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru, and definitely plays an important role in the folklore and mythology of the Andean region, as this South American bird can actually be found in the Andes Mountains, as well as the Pacific Coast along the western edges of the continent of South America. This logo is also displayed on the engine cowling. I'm about to show you that right here. There as well as on the inside of the Charlotte wingtip device as well. Check it out. There it is. That's the uh, logo right there. No, similar to American, one thing American is the, uh, the American bald eagle, and this one is the Andean condor. That's the big difference right there, folks. All right, we're still on the port side of the aircraft where you see these nice looking engines here with the airline's logo that I mentioned earlier, featuring the engine cones right here, as well as the engine stripe. These are the CFMI-LEAP, which stands for Leading Edge Aviation Propulsion-1A33 engines that are used on this particular Avianca Airbus A321neo new engine option aircraft. Now I'm gonna turn this aircraft model around let you see the front of the engines and the turbo flange blades do spin. Let's check it out. Now you're looking at the front of the engines here with the engine strikes on this side as well as that side. And as I mentioned, the turbo fan blades do spin. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, awesome. All right. Then you got a front view of the landing bogey gears here on the port side as well as the landing gear struts and the landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the starboard side featuring the engine strikes there and there. And the turbo fan blade spin over here as well. Okay, alright, a little stuck there, but it's rolling. There we go. And then you see the front uh, view of the landing bogey gears here on the starboard side, as well as the landing gear struts and the landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the front of the engines where you got a better visual view of the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the nose cone, 
uh, the nose gear landing lights inside of the nose gear door, the, the, uh, the nose gear struts, as well as the nose gears. And you see the engines on both sides of the aircraft. So with that said, I'm going to take it back to the port side of the air, aircraft because I got some more information to share with you over there as well. Let's roll. All right, let's talk about the wingtip device on this aircraft. It actually began back in 2009 when Airbus came up with another created name for these blended wings, as you can see here on this aircraft, which the company decided to call them the Sharpets, which is designed to enhance payload range performance, resulting in less fuel consumption at the same time. Auckland-based Air New Zealand became the first airline to actually have the Sharpets installed on their Airbus A320 aircraft back in 2012. You also see the red navigation light next to that uh, Sharpet wingtip device, as well as the colors on this aircraft on this uh, wingtip device as well. All right, we're at the back of the aircraft here on the port side. We see the multicolored uh, tail here. There's the orange, the uh, light. Uh, red and the dark red right there. That must be a emergency escape hatch door right there. But more importantly, you see that red straight ship number on there, N seven fifty nine AV. Red straight ship number N seven fifty nine AV. This aircraft is the first of seventeen Airbus A three twenty one Neos new engine option aircraft to enter the Avianca fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on September 5, 2017 and was delivered to Avianca on September 20, 2017. Alright, we still at the back of the aircraft here on the port side where you see the multicolored uh, paint here on this tail fin of the aircraft as well as the Colombian flag decal displayed there at the top of the tail fin of the aircraft. Now you're looking at the APU exhaust uh, here on the back of the aircraft here. There's no hole there. It's just there right there. And right there, that is the strobe light right there, uh, right underneath the APU exhaust hole. All right. Now you're looking at the Avianca Airbus A321neo new engine option aircraft from the rear view angle. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the nose gears, the nose gear struts, the nose gear door featuring the partial red straight and ship number on the nose gear door, 759. You see the pita tube and the static port, the nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the A321 Neo decal, the Columbia flag decal, the Star Alliance decal, the airline's logo as I mentioned, and DN Condor as I mentioned earlier, the Avianca title as well as the front boat bin door. Now you're looking at the CFMI LEAP Leading Edge Aviation 1A-33 engines there featuring the airline's logo on the uh, engine there, the engine stripes, as well as the engine cone right here. And you got a better visual view of the front uh, view of the landing bogey gears on the starboard side including the landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the Sharklet wingtip device on this aircraft here on the starboard side and that nice little multi-red uh, code there, including the green navigation light next to that wingtip device. Now you're looking at the back of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the uh, rear bulk bin door, the AFT bulk bin door, the red straight ship number, you see the multicolored uh, red and orange painted on the tail fin of the aircraft as well as the back of the aircraft as well as the Colombian flag decals played at the top of the tail fin of the aircraft. Okay, before I show you the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, I'm going to let you check out one detail, which is the rolling gears, which rolls pretty good. That's one thing I like about these uh, particular uh, models right here. The gears do roll. It's also tilt. You see it's tilting by itself. And the nose gear swivels as well. You see that? That, that as well as over there as well. Okay? So with that said... Allow me to show you the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft model. Let's check it out. Now you're looking at the, uh, this aircraft from the area of bird's eye view. We're going to start at the front. You see the nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit window, another high frequency antenna. You see the Avianca tunnels on both sides as well as the airline's logo, the anti-collision beacon light, a couple more high frequency antennas. That's the tail right there. Uh, there's the horizontal stabilizer right there as well, as well as over here. You see that uh, little dot right there on the uh, horizontal stabilizer as well as over here. Right there. 
Those are called the luminary lights, and the purpose of those luminary lights is to uh, help light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. Now let's check out the wings. No wing walkway, but you got the CFMI uh, leap engines right here with the engine strikes from the area bird's eye view. You see the uh, the warning information on the wing, as well as the registration ship number, as well as the flaps, flaps, aileron spoilers, what have you. Um, somewhere in there is a fuel dump valve in there somewhere, but you see the sharklet wingtip device right there with the airline's logo on there, which is pretty unique. And this on the, over this side. See the no wing walkway, see the engines there, engine strike. You see the warning information right there, as well as the Avianca title right there, as well as the flap, slaps, aileron spoils, what have you. And then there's the uh, Sharklet wingtip device with the airline's logo on this side here as well. Now you're looking at this aircraft from the undercarriage belly view, we see the nose cone, the nose uh, closed nose gear door, as well as the open nose gear door, featuring the uh, nose gear right there. You see it, I freak the antenna, you see the front bulk bend door right there, an anti-collision beacon light right there, the hole where the stand goes in at, the gym not just logo, another high freak antenna, the rear uh, bulk bend door, the AFT bulk bend door, the pressure leave valve, another antenna, and the AFT bolt bin, AFT uh, housing doors right there. Uh, the horizontal stabilizers. Let's check out the gears over here, there, as well as the engine there underneath, as well as the flap, slats, aileron, spoils, what have you. There's the red train ship number, and there's the sharklet wingtip device. Now let's check out this side. See the gears there, the engines there. The Avianca titles there, as well as the flaps, slats, aileron spoils, what have you, as well as the sharklet wingtip device there. Okay, since I will show you the area of bird's eye view here, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft here in full detail, now I'm going to put it on that nice little wood that nail uh, model stand, that alternative model stand. So with no further ado, here is the model, the model stand, model on the model stand. Sorry about that. Check it out. Okay, had a little challenge getting this uh, model on this alternative model stand, but it got on it pretty good. Okay, it's like it's holding up pretty good. As you see in this model being displayed in the takeoff landing position with the model stand on the port side. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft in the takeoff landing position with the model on the stand. You see how the uh, wings are flexing a little bit with the Sharklet wingtip device display, including the nice looking engines there. Now you're seeing this model being displayed in the takeoff landing position with the model on the stand on the starboard side. And now you see this model being displayed in the takeoff landing position with the model on the stand from the tail cam angle. Now since I showed you all the angles of this model with the model on the stand and all angle and since it has no gear replaces, I'm going to go ahead and take this model stand and go ahead and wrap up this model review, alright? Alright, let's talk about the seat and configuration. The Avianca Airbus A321neo new engine option aircraft seats 195 passengers in a two class configurated cabin layout. Here's the breakdown everyone from rows 1 to 3 which will be from here to about right here. You have 12 business class seats in row 7 to 38, which will be from here, about right here, all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have an additional 183 economy class seats, which brings a total to 195 seats. And finally, Avianca currently employs their Airbus A321neo new engine option aircraft on routes from Bogota to Miami, Orlando, Cali, Columbia, Columbia sorry about that. Barranquilla, Colombia, and Cartagena, Colombia, and from San Jose, Costa Rica to San Salvador, uh, Salvador. Uh, it, are they using this aircraft on other other routes? No, please post that as well. But they'll probably put this on more routes as they get more aircraft. Okay. But with that said, this will conclude this model review. I like to know if you got this model or you plan on getting it. It's still available. I wish JC Wings or Gemini just to do more uh, models on this particular airline, like the 787. And the 7879 that they got coming, that would be nice in the 330s. So with that said, please take care.
God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.